Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Ted Lasso, Season 3, Episode 3. I'm late to the game on this one every time, guys. It's not working out how I thought. I was under the impression it would come out Wednesday, which I guess technically it is, but some people are saying it's coming out as early as 9 p.m. The problem with me is every Tuesday night I work till 1 a.m. By the time I get home and I shower, it's like 3 or 4 in the morning by the time I could start watching this, and I tried doing it the first two weeks. I mean, I'm in it, and I love what's going on, but that's why this show keeps coming out so late. Those of you on Patreon, it comes out like a day later than it should, and on YouTube, it comes out like two days later than it should. So I apologize for the delay of the show, but that is my situation with this. I've never had a show come out on a Tuesday night. I don't think ever, or if it did, I just didn't do that show. Either way, the way it ended, poor Ted Lasso over here, sees his son have the Infinity Gauntlet, and mom has a new friend, aka boyfriend. How serious is it? Pretty serious. Because if she is at the level of where she's at with Ted and has a kid, you don't usually introduce a guy into that life unless you're pretty serious, especially the dude is buying him gifts already. It isn't like they just met. Unless he, I mean, it's possible they just met, and he was like, yo, how you doing? Here's a giant awesome gift. But I feel like that's setting up that they're already established in a relationship with the son as well. So, Ted is going to need help. He's probably going to snap. Beyond all this, we got Nathan being a sack of shit. Keely and Roy having their issues. I feel like towards the end, maybe they'll get back together. But something might go on with Jamie Tart and her. Rebecca is hating Rupert, as always, and should. And now we've got... This guy, Zava. Zava from Italy. Greatest part of the episode, probably. Lunatic athlete type of guy. These people exist. This guy is probably dialed down from what you see in real life, honestly. If you follow sports, there's like 10 Zavas in every sport. But they're still entertaining to watch. So Zava is all high on himself and thinks he should go to the best team and be the best and I am the greatest. Rebecca over here pitches the idea why don't you go to the worst team? And then you'll really shine because you'll not only be the best, but you would have took the worst team to the highest point. And I feel like that's what will happen. And let's jump in because I'm talking too much. You guys want to be way ahead, full on edited episodes, all the shows on the channel. If you're seeing it on YouTube, in the description of every video is a link for Patreon. There you'll see all of Ted Lasso up in full seasons one through three. Everything unedited. Hundreds of other shows. Peaky Blinders is starting season three. Hundreds of movies as well. Full unedited. Check the link in the description for Patreon. If not, Ted Lasso, season three, episode three. Big day for Richmond. So you don't know anything about football? But I know who Zava is. Of course. <laughs> Sex me when you get back from Dubai. Why do I feel like something, what's happening? Like, I feel like there's more of a reason we're focusing on him. Is this supposed to be like a secret? Jesus, dude. I almost feel like that was trying to show us, oh my God, he's dating a guy or something? I don't know. Come on, Mother Superior, let's have a little perspective. I would watch a show of no, just no. them in the Mr. office. Francis Tell me that wouldn't be a great show. All right, we Trent, I love Trent. Tom favorite Julie Andrews character. Go. Fuck it, Mary Mary Poppins. Poppins. Resolute as always. Come on, you Poppins. Mary so, Poppins. I'm there with you. Clarice Rinaldi, Queen of Genovia. Oh. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Princess Diaries. Deep cut. What a great conversation. That is the show. I mean, this is a great show, but that is a good side show. Hey, how you doing? I'm Ted Lasso. I am an empty vessel filled with gold. I am your rock. I'm an empty vessel filled with gold. Me. Well, hey, if you score goals like you talk, we're going to be just fine, buddy. <laughs> you are the glue. I love it. Thank you very much. I thought the way he was in the last one, I thought he was acting. I do not. You know what? Maybe I ought to tag along in case he gets nervous. Yeah, Seems like. like he can be a little bit of a wallflower. This is Shandy. We work together. Oh. And she's a great friend of mine. Oh. Here he comes. The positivity is fabulous. I thought he was going to come in and be like, I'm the best. You all suck. Eat shit. Like, I will begin by addressing the most important person in this room. Your passion is why I play. 
He keeps My walking team. right in front of Tad. Breathe with me. Right now, I like it. Until he gets out of line, I'm loving it. Breathe with this man. It's like three or four. Like, Roy doesn't believe it. There is no you. There is us, team. There's only the we. The we. That was great, though. That could have went way worse. And then he goes into Ted's office. Oh, God, he's reconstructing the whole thing. I'm very excited to be here. Hey, we're very excited. I will see you tomorrow. You. Zava. He's, he's this interesting fella. But but my kind of interesting. Oh, because you're supposed to be a psychic. Place your hands on the bowl. She's got a lovely place. It smells very odd in here all of a sudden. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, sh yeah, shite in lining armor. Okay. That, that's enough, I think, for today. But thank you. You're going to be a mother. Fuck you. Oh, God. Don't worry. Nobody in the press wants to talk to you. No, no. That's not actually true. You're fun. Yeah, like... Who the fuck is this? And he didn't. We work together. I mean, Roy made it like he had more to do with it, but I felt like it was mutual. <sighs> no, I, I think we got a good thing going there, and he's already fucking it all up. I do hear what he's saying. I think we gotta give it a game or two and see what's what. I agree. Thanks for having me out. Hey, thanks for speaking your mind. Yeah. No, I think everything everyone's I'm saying. Being, and I, w I weren't being ironic. I was being hypocritical. Is that right? Was that right? Yeah, it is. Jamie well, is. That was actually ironic. That's actually ironic. <laughs> the whole thing is flipped over. I like where we're going, but I also am hesitant, kind of like Jamie. Look at this. He's got all sorts. Of... Was that a samurai sword? Yeah, let's bring it. In. Come on, here. All right. Okay, Captain. Why don't you go ahead and lift it? Oh. He is. One, two, three. He doesn't put his hand in. He is what you all touch. I can't remember Michelle's cell phone number. Oh. Yeah. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, God. Is he going to pick up the phone? Oh, my God. Have a landline? It's probably a telemarketer. Henry, let's go. Wouldn't she think it's very possibly May Ted being it's the landline? Hello. You've reached the house of Michelle <laughs> Keller, who, by the way, is doing amazing things with orange slices. It's That's really pretty good, Trump. How can I help you? Well, hey, Mr. Former President. Hello? Ted, who is this? Oh, This is Jacob Bryanson. Who did Ted think it was? Yeah, um, Ted, you could just call me Jake. He knows him too? I was like, oh, he. I thought the guy just recognized a guy's voice. You let it- but Ted? Who lets their new guy pick up the phone on a landline that few people have? Hey, buddy. It's very possibly Ted. And now he's got to go to the game. It's right before the game. Many of my friends' moms like his apps. Oh, man. He is... Oh, God, that sucks. Uh, I hope he doesn't have a freaking breakdown. Are we going to have a montage? Because I love me a montage. Zavo with an... That I have never seen. A scorpion kick. But look, everyone is bonding. Even though it's lunacy. Aw, oh, Jamie's not having it though. Ted is, oh shit, look at that glass. Ted is pounding whiskey. The corner comes in, and it's that man again. Is this the moment? No! Oh God, he stole Jamie's score. That's gonna piss, yeah, see? He looks way more muscular. Bicycle kick, I know that one. He has a tattoo of himself on his back. Jesus Christ, superstar. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. And Trent is writing a book. Trent is gonna have a hit book on his hands. Tomorrow, everybody is invited to the restaurant. This is my pal, Michael. Oh uh, yeah. What's up, man? World's greatest wingman. Yeah, tough gig. If it isn't beauty, I'm not. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> Nora with her? Nora's with her, right? Did I see Nora? Oh no, I didn't. We'll take two shots. See, Rebecca's there. People are gonna get drunk. Are you cheating on me? You. She is frigging insane. Jamie, come on, my friend. I love Jamie. You used to be the best. And now you know. He's the new Roy Kent. Happens. 
pre pre Madonna. What the fuck does that even mean? Before Madonna. Before Madonna. I knew Madonna that's what he's gonna say. With him. It it makes sense. I wanna be better than him. Then get better. Or just deal with it. I could try and you. I love this because it's Ooh, like they could both get something out of it. It's like Rocky and Creed. Four AM. Clean that up. Clean that up. Hi. You know Shandy's Hi. top's coming off or something. I'm Shandy. I do PR for the club. I like your confident energy. It's off putting. It is off putting, but honest. Oh matchbooks, it's green matchbooks. Green. Shite in nining armor. Yes. See? <laughs> Now she's going to start hammering shots. She's creating it. Look at them back there. They're pounding shots. Not realizing that she is making the future troop. I hope nothing happens to Trent. What's going on here? Oh, he sees Colin. And he's going to write it in the book. Oh, shit. All right, guys. That's it for episode three, season three, Ted Lasso. I knew at some point Colin was being way too loose with that relationship. But first off. The whole episode starts with Colin waking up in bed. He's dating this dude. I'm like, what am I missing here? Are they pointing out the fact that Colin is dating a dude? I kid you not, whether it was confirmed or not, and clearly it wasn't confirmed until now, but I thought Colin was very possibly gay. And when they showed him dating a guy, I was so in the mindset that like, even if he was or wasn't, that it was totally just normal that I didn't even think anything of it. And then he's driving away. Then we get back to the locker room and people are like, oh, that's gay. Oh, that's gay. And he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll bang Zava or something like that. He's obviously playing back with the, the locker room. But I'm thinking like in today's day and age, is it still that big a deal? I watch sports religiously. Granted, basketball, football, and usually UFC is where I stick. So there's not a whole lot of out gay people in those sports, but there are. Like I know of gay athletes in basketball. And I think there's a couple in football that are outed. I mean, maybe there's some that, that didn't come out of the closet or something like that. But UFC, I think even has a couple. I don't really pay much attention to it because to me, it doesn't matter. If you're good at football, I just care if you're good at football. I don't really think there could be a hundred for all I know. I don't like, it doesn't trick. It doesn't register. So when they're showing this in the beginning, I'm like, is something else going on here, or is it simply the fact that Colin is gay? It was simply the fact that Colin is gay. In the background, throughout the whole episode, there's all these little things going on. The texting at the club. Then it's fully confirmed when he comes to the restaurant at the end. And he's like, this is my wingman. And they literally talk about hooking each other up with girls. First off, the other dude definitely came off as more gay than Colin. Colin, like, you know, it could go either way. Not that any of that matters, but... I feel like he was already putting himself in a position where people are going to question it. Like, hey, Colin invited this guy and they were very close and this and that. Like, it already would have started drawing attention is what I'm saying before Trent just saw what he saw. So now Trent goes outside. Colin is literally openly texting. Like, his phone is out like this right in front of him and he's texting like kiss faces and stuff. Anyone could have seen it over his shoulder. Isaac's always buddying up with him and stuff. So Isaac could have seen it. Anything could have happened. The way I look at it is I think Colin is probably tired of hiding it and is almost looking for a reason for someone to ask or find out. Like kind of like somebody please find out. I don't want to just flat out say it, but somebody find out so I don't have to keep hiding the secret. But I'm just shocked it was a thing to begin with. Beyond all that, Trent sees him. You know Trent's going to put it in the book. That is why we had Trent see it. It's clearly going to be in the book. But now that's going to put a rift. Or I don't know. It's going to just make people maybe think Colin's a liar. I don't know. I'm curious to see how they, they handle the situation. But besides all that... We have Zava, who I thought in the last episode was going to come in and be very disruptive. Right now, all he's disrupting is Colin, because Colin got benched and has his own shit going on now, or soon will with Trent, and Jamie, who is now becoming the new Roy Kent, maybe not as old as Roy, but being 
the less valued player, just how Roy kind of got shuffled down. But Roy was old, and he himself thought, like, maybe I don't got what it takes. Jamie is still young. Jamie just needs a different angle or needs more weapons to his arsenal. So Roy's like, listen... I'm going to Rocky Creed you, and we are going to train, but this ain't no joke. You get up at 4 a.m., you listen to what I say, you do what I tell you to do. You got to go back to basics. This is how you get better. It sucks to not do things your way, and sometimes you got to eat shit and take orders from people to get better. But even at that level... When you need to break through to the next plateau, you know Roy Kent knows his shit. Roy Kent handles things at a different level. So now add his abilities to your arsenal. You will have a Jamie Tart, Roy Kent, and the two of you will prosper because now Roy could feel like I made Jamie a better player and Jamie could elevate himself to a higher level. So you both win. That's how Rocky continued because Rocky at a point can't fight in his 70s. So he teaches his knowledge. So Roy has to do the same. I'm going to edit this up. I know I probably missed talking about 50 other things, but a lot happens in this show now, and it's almost a full hour. So you guys want to see more of what I do, full unedited episodes, all the shows on the channel. In the description of every video is a link for Patreon. You'll see every season of Ted Lasso up in full. As soon as I watch these, they go up on Patreon, the new ones. Peaky Blinders, Doctor Who, Person of Interest, Legend of Korra, Death Note, hundreds of other movies and shows. Check the description. If not, comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.